so today I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to make this origami box. Now I've never done an origami tutorial before, so I hope this works out. Um, I'm just going to start with something simple today because I have how to make this box just memorized off the top of my head and it is a fairly simple thing. I've been doing it forever now. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing an attempt at a step-by-step -step tutorial for you guys. So. First, just start by picking out your paper that you'd like. You can do this with any size or sheet of paper, as long as it is a square. So I've chosen this from one of my many collections of origami paper. Now what you're going to want to do is if you've got a pattern side, you want to put that face down. Then if you know how to make a fortune teller, you we're gonna start with kind of doing the same steps. So we're going to fold this bottom corner up to the top corner and make sure that the line is nice and crisp. So just like this and make sure that you've got your two very pointed corners at the end. Then you open it back up and you're going to do the opposite thing and you're going to bring this corner here to this corner at the top. So then you're going to end up having this kind of X shape and again you want to make sure you've got your corners lined up which I don't perfectly have that, so I'm just going to make it a little bit a different crease there. And yeah, so you're going to end up with this kind of X. And then you're going to take each of the corners, and you're going to fold the corner right to the center. And just keep in mind, while doing all of your folds, make sure you put enough pressure down to make a good crease. So yeah, we're just going to take all the corners, and we're going to fold those into the middle. And we want to look for that corner here again. So, once you get this top corner done here, we are just going to take these. So we're going to take this, so it looks like a square now, and we're going to take the bottom edge, and we're going to fold this part to the center where you can see the line of the crease that we've already made. So we're going to take this and we're just going to fold it right up to the middle. And we're going to do the exact same thing to this side here. So you're going to take the bottom and you're going to fold it right to the middle. So it meets up with the other flap. And once again, we're making sure we've got nice creases. And then you can open those back up. So you'll end up looking like this, so it's got folded, so you can kind of almost just stand it up like that. Then you're going to do the exact same thing to the other two flats. So you're going to bring the half to the middle crease, and you're going to make a nice fold, and you're going to do the exact same thing on this side, bringing it to meet the other flap. So once you've done that, you're going to open these up, and you're going to take the first two flaps, and you're going to fold them in one more time, just making sure that the line is all there. And then you're going to pull these two flaps right out. And you can rotate it this way. And the inside should kind of look like it's got a grid pattern. Then we're going to take these two flaps, and we're going to fold them in again, just so we can get a nice crease right here, and right here on that side. And you can guess it, we're going to do it on the other side too, just making sure that we've got those lines there. So, we're going to take these two flaps now and we're going to open it up like this. So we've got something, we've got a shape like this. And we're going to take these two folds right here, and if they're not quite prominent enough, you can fold them in like this to make sure that there's a line there, because those are going to be important. So you're going to push those in, and by doing that, it should bring this flap right up. And you're going to fold them right down like this, just so you can fold this right over like that. And you can make a crease down here just so it's easier. And then you're going to do the exact same thing to this side. You're going to take these two, you're going to push them in, and it's going to bring the other side up. And you're going to make just a fold there. And you're going to push this down and over, and make the fold line here, and the crease line there. And sometimes if it doesn't stay, you can put a little piece of tape in the middle. But yeah, so that is how you make an origami box. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more origami in the future, I would love to show you some more tutorials. So yeah, this is our finished box. 
and as you can see we've got the pattern on the outside and on the inside so if you've got something on the back you don't need to worry about that because your pattern will be shown throughout so yeah be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and let me know if you've got any tutorial suggestions in the future thank you guys for watching and i love you guys all so much bye